Hey everyone, welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be continuing on the video that we created a little while back where I titled it The Easiest Redbubble Strategy Ever. For those who are not familiar, it's a video I made two weeks ago. This was the video right here. And I basically showed me creating, or not creating, but utilizing... Uh, Basically, and I'll kind of explain the process, using graphics that we can put on products that we can actually sell for profit, okay, for money. And I'll talk about how the whole process is just in case if you guys aren't familiar or maybe you don't remember, um, and I'll kind of explain the whole process. So as you guys are familiar, I'm a big fan of using image banks. And image banks are different websites that allow you to either pay a subscription, well, usually it's a subscription where you pay a monthly fee to where you're, and don't worry, you're not going to have to pay a monthly fee for this video, but um, you pay a monthly fee and you get access to a whole bunch of different graphics, right? There's a whole bunch of different companies that do this. This is nothing new and it's nothing unheard of, right? I mean, you guys probably know about this already. Um, and sometimes the graphics might be photography style images. Sometimes the graphics might be hand-drawn images. Sometimes they might be both, right? So, what this is really about is that there's a lot of these companies out there that charge that much. But for a lot of the beginners who are beginning their journey on Redbubble, it might be not financially beneficial to pay a monthly subscription to these platforms. So what do other people do? They use websites that are for free, like Pexels, for example. And for those who aren't familiar, Pexels exists right here. This is Pexels.com, where you go ahead and search something, let's just say like lava, for example. And they pull out an image, and they post it on something like Redbull and something like that, and they try to make money off it. And even though it is technically not allowed there are some people who do make money and there are some people who just get their account completely banned and i'll explain kind of why this is and i have explained this in the last video but the reason why is that first of all a stock photo image that is free redbubble does not allow you have to have your own rights to that image now, when you join a paid platform, you technically do have the license or the rights to utilize one of those images. So, for example, here I'm on this platform where I paid a one-time payment fee, and let's say I want to post this image on a mouse pad, and I want to sell it, I can do that. I have the legal right to do that, and to prove that, we can just go over here into the uh, frequently asked questions. I'll just open this in a new tab, and you could see here... What can I use these images for? And it says, it lists it right here. Print on demand, mugs, t-shirts, clothing, etc. And for Redbubble, Redbubble does fit into the world of print on demand. So does Printful, so does Etsy, so does, um, you know... Uh, you know, if you're, for example, Etsy, by the way, I don't want it to be misconstrued. If you're taking your image and you're putting it on a t shirt and selling it, or if you're taking it and putting on it on a mouse pad or ma a desk mat, um, putting it on a tablecloth, putting it on a, on a bed sheet or a, or a duvet cover, putting it on really whatever. And we discussed this in this video. Well, I asked the question, I said, guys, do you want to see more content on this? And I got like six people telling me, yes, they want to see more. So I'll explain kind of the process behind this and all the things that you might kind of think of and how to actually set this up. So we want to do, the first thing is economics, right? Financials. We don't want to go ahead and utilize a software that's going to be too expensive, an image bank that's too expensive. So for, for those people, you have to basically go into your Redbubble store and see how much are you currently making right now. Okay, and if you're making $10 a month, well, then what that means is you shouldn't really be spending more than $10, at least in my opinion, on a platform. Okay, now if you're not making anything monthly, then what you're going to be forcing to do to yourself is that your cost ha effectively has to be zero. And this is the way I look at it, and this is the way I build things up from scratch. Now, if you're making money from other things, well, then those other things can help you out here. Okay, but 
for some people, they don't have that luxury, right? Maybe you're struggling on income, which is perfectly fine, and you're looking to make money. Well, in that case, you're probably going to have to go the route where you'd pay a one-time fee, as I have paid a one-time fee. Now, in terms of Redbubble sales, I have no struggle with that. I've been doing very, very well with that. But the thing is, I do like to get the most bang for my buck. And I've done the research on all the different platforms out there where they're considered image bank type platforms platforms, right? The stock the stock websites, the the vector websites, all these different platforms. And I haven't really seen something as custom as this to where I can get a crazy amount of photography photos and I can utilize them for print on demand for the price. So the price that I personally paid, there's two plans. There's one that's, uh, they're both one-time payment, by the way, lifetime, meaning you only pay once and you get access forever, okay? And they have two different plans, and one of the plans is a $59 plan, which is giving you access to 30 photos a day. Now, if you know, if you do the math on the numbers, um, Redbubble allows up to 60 designs per day across all accounts, okay? So for some people, I've heard a lot of people say, I have to sit there and I have to wait countless amounts of hours to create just 30 designs well now you don't have to do that you could just literally click a button download which is what i've did here and i'll just show you guys what i am talking about let me actually um go over here let's delete this let's pick up this for example this was an image i downloaded from the website here uh this was another image i want to go ahead and pull it up and this is another image i actually downloaded three of them just so i can show you guys what i'm talking about here i downloaded this one this one and this one and you can see they're all high quality, you know, there's nothing, there's nothing bad about them. They're very, very, be you know, very beautiful images in my opinion. Uh, for me, I mean, this is one of the coolest animals in the animal kingdom. And what, if there's somebody on, you know, on, uh, can, uh, excuse me, not Canva, Redbubble, who have the same interest as me, is maybe they'll buy a product like this on a duvet cover, on a mouse pad, on a, you know, a laptop cover, whatever it is. And to prove that this works, I've actually had a proof of concept. There's a lot of other uh, people in the Redbubble space that they post something they took a picture of, and they make money off of it right? This is not the first time somebody has ever done this. Now, let's just go into the legalities of this. Is this allowed? The answer is yes, but it depends what platform you're using. Every platform is completely different. There are some places where you pay for photography, for graphics, for vectors, but they're not allowed to be used on print on demand. There are some platforms like that. So you want to read the details behind the platform that you're using. For me, I like to use this platform. It's called Unlim Photos. I'll leave the link in the description, but the link specifically will be to the one-time payment plan the lifetime payment plan and what the lifetime payment plan like I said is is you get access to all the photos in the whole entire website for $59 one-time payment assuming that you're gonna download 30 a day if you don't do 30 a day and you need more than that there's a plan that's hundred and forty five dollars and you're going to be getting to download as many as want. It's unlimited. Okay. So there's two different plans there for the most people. I would just recommend the $59 plan. That's all you really need to start at least. And if you do the math on that $59, you might get two, three, five, $10 of profit per item, depending on what item you sell. For me, I like to sell puzzles on, on main products like this. I like to do duvet covers. I like to do um, the laptop skins. I like to do the desk mats. I like to do the mouse pads. I like to do the canvases, the printouts, anything that's really large in item and sometimes even phone cases depending on the structure of the image. If it's like a portrait image or a landscape, like if it's portrait, I prefer like phone cases, things like that. Sometimes even duvet covers, but um, to me, I usually go when I do when I do this strategy, and this strategy, by the way, is not in the print on demand course or in the tagging course, simply because I'm talking about it here for free. Okay, um, and there's a lot of people doing this already, so it's not like this is something new or something behind the scenes. If it's something new, I talk about it behind the scenes in the courses. This is not new. Uh, so many people do this on Redbubble. Uh, in fact, if we just go to Redbubble here, there's a whole section for photography, and I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. I can go on Redbubble, and I could just, let's just say, let's pick something like wall art. 
right? This wall art section alone, tons and tons of photography is on here. Like, this here is a photograph of, I don't know who Beauty Lana is, but uh, Beauty Lana, a picture of Beauty Lana. But we can go over here, and let's just click on Metal Prints, for example. And like I said, I don't know what's going to come up because I'm not a Redbubble customer, but um, we can go over here to the left side and there's a whole section just for photography. And what Redbubble's rules on photography is, is that if you have legal license to upload the image, they don't specify if you took the image yourself, if your friend took the image, or if somebody else took the image. What they do talk about is legal license. So what legal license means is if you have the right to upload it. And in this case, because of the website that we're using, like I said, and this is their frequently asked questions, you are 100% legally allowed to use this from everything that I know. And like I said, it says here on the website, what can you use this image for? Print on demand is specific. It says, it lists print on demand. And you could use it for a whole bunch of different things. You can use it for advertising, for gaming, for TV shows. You could do it for a whole lot. So there's a lot. Now, in terms of the website, how many images does it have? I think it has over 13 million images on their website now, and they're actually always adding images every single day. And the way their platform works is that the person, the photographer who actually uploads these images, they get a payment revenue share when they upload images to the platform. So you're helping out the photographer when you download an image, and you don't have to pay extra for it, which is pretty cool. Now, there are millions of different images. And when I click, like, for example, I typed up the word wolf here. And you could just see here how many different images there are. And this is just one page. We can look here, and there's over 84 pages of the image wolf. I can go over here to page 8. I can see more pictures of wolves. And you can see here they all exist. And there are countless, countless, countless images. Now, you could use utilize this for not just Redbubble, but you could use it, utilize this for other platforms as well. I mean, I could just picture a whole bunch of different categories. Um, like, for example, Etsy. You can target the word wolf lover, and you can create products uh, connected through Printful and create products like, you know, different you know, items, different products where an, uh, a picture like this would fit, right? And there's obviously some images that might not necessarily relate. Like, for example, I searched for wolf, and we have this picture of a girl who, it's because it's labeled wolf eyes, but there's so many different, different images. Like, I can click on page 11 here, and I don't know what that is. That's weird, but, you know, those insects give me the creeps. But you could see here um, all these other pictures, right? And... Like I said, there's so many images, so I can go to, like, for example, page, we already saw page 8, let me go back to, let's say, page 6, right, and I could just sift through all these images, and what happens is, is you guys could actually uh, take a look at the images also yourself by going to unlimphotos.com, so you could do that by just typing in unlimphotos.com, let me go actually ahead and type that in one more time on limit because I typed it in wrong, but on limphotos.com and you can take a look at the images that are there. Now, if you click on this stuff, you're going to have to pay to get access to it. So, for example, if I click on this image, I can't I can't use this unless I subscribe. But if I click here to subscribe, if you look at the pricing, and I'll click at the pricing, it's $11.99 for a month, only for 30 downloads a day, right? So you're going to be essentially wasting money if you go with the monthly plan because the monthly plan, you're going to be paying monthly every single day and the other plan is you're paying $59 as a one-time payment for everything. So th there's not even a competition on what's better. So I'll leave a link in the description to the unlimited plan, the lifetime plan. But more importantly, what I want to do is I want to do a live tutorial. I want to do a live tutorial of me utilizing these images that I downloaded to use them for my business, for Redbubble. So we're going to go ahead and do this live. So here we have this image of this wolf, right? I want to go over here and go to edit and create. And what I want to do is I want to actually uh, edit this or not edit this. I want to open it up and paint. So I want to go here and open with paint because I want to see, um, 
what the size of this is and if I want to scale it up I can scale it up now the cool thing about this company specifically is the photos are so high quality like if I zoom in you could literally see the hairs or the fur on this wolf here like each bristle um, if that's what you want to call it that uh, I don't I'm not a fur expert so I wouldn't really know what to call it but um, we can scale this up because the it's so high quality the image right so I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go over here to resize and I'm gonna hit click the pixels button and this is not the computer that I usually use to do this so I'm a little rusty but bear with me guys so it's horizontal is 7500 vertical is 5000 I want this to fit on literally every single product that I have for sale so I'm just gonna type in 13,000 here okay and you guys don't have to do this part but this is just something I like to do I'm gonna hit okay and I'm just gonna wait for it to load for it to actually scale it up so you can see here it's scaled up and the quality is just as good as it you know once was I could see everything on this wolf it's actually pretty pretty crazy right and so what I'm just gonna do is gonna hit the save button that's it and once it's saved I'm gonna take that photo I'm gonna upload it into Redbubble and you guys will see this okay so it's saved so now what I'm gonna do is click X here I'm gonna go over to Redbubble and go to the upload section and I'm gonna take that picture and I'm just gonna upload it into Redbubble and you can see here it takes some time to upload but this is perfectly fine it's no problem 95% finished and Let's just wait for the completed upload. And now what we could do is we could re rearrange how the product looks on certain images. So since this is a wide style image, is this the right image, by the way? I don't think it is. I think I did this one instead. Yeah, so I uploaded the wrong one. So let me go ahead and do that one more time. And I'll just pick the right one this time. So I want to see if that was the right one. Gray Wolf Canis. So uh, I believe this is the right one, but we'll go ahead and see. We'll find out in just a minute now. And you guys are doing with this, you know, with me live on this thing. So, uh, yeah, so we set it up right. So now you can see that it's bigger. I don't really have much white space. And this will fit on probably almost every single product. So here I have one t-shirt that's made. Uh, you could do this with a pillow. You could do this with all this kind of stuff. Now, something that I want to say is if you're asking yourself, who logically would buy this? Well, there's a few answers, okay? And the reality is, is that... First of all, the people who, who are out there who are really, really committed to some sort of wolf cause, maybe they just love wolves, maybe they have a wolf as a pet, believe it or not, there are some people in the world who do who do have wolves as pets, um, even though that sounds kind of crazy, but some people do. Um, all these different groups, or maybe some, maybe there's a person who really, you know, a kid out there who really, really loves wolves and the dad or the mom gets them a gift like this for their birthday or for Christmas or for Easter, whatever it is, right, as a gift. Um, maybe, uh, you know, somebody needs an item that's wolf related for whatever reason. I wouldn't know, but all I can tell you is that there is a demand for this. And the reason why I know that is because I can do a basic Google search and see if there are people uploading similar products. So I could type in wolf photography canvas or something, right? And let's see what comes up. There you go. There are images of wolves here as a picture for sale. So if I click on this, I want to see this for $12.99. It says here, Captive Gray Wolf International. And how much does this cost? And it's a mini size, 12 inches by 8 inches for this image. And it's $25.99. With, with uh, Redbubble, ours can be much bigger. So this is proof of concept that people actually do buy stuff like this. right? And, and I'm just using the wolf here as an example. But you could do this with anything you could do this with animals you could do this with landscapes uh unlimited photos the, the website they have a section for landscapes so i could type in for example river and we could see what comes up with river and there are millions of photos with this kind of stuff like i really like this photo i've seen this here before this is a perfect example now i'm actually not logged into my account on this browser for obvious reasons i don't want to show my license or my email that's associated with it um but you could see here there are thousands if not millions and there are millions of photos like this is really cool to me right this is really cool this is really cool and i can get all of these like i said for free i have the 145 dollar payment plan um so you know that's just the one that i'm going with but you guys don't have to go with that like i said if you're on a budget the $59 payment plan is probably going to be the best one because it's it's a one-time payment plan. You pay it once, 
and you get access to photos forever for 30 photos a day and you could utilize them for your commercial reasons. You can literally, like, look at this image right here. This image right here is amazing. I can take this image, I can put it on a, a canvas, I can put it on whatever, and I could sell that image on any platform I want. And I'm allowed to because I have the licensed right. Now, something that I will say is if in the event that somebody does report your image, which, by the way, it's probably not going to happen because this is not found anywhere else, if in that case that someone does, well, guess what? You have the license to prove that you own it because every image comes with a license. So you're going to show them uh, Redbubble. You're going to dispute because every single product that gets reported, guys, you get an email on that. And when you get an email saying that it gets taken down, you can al you are allowed to appeal it. And there is a real person behind that. And I would recommend that you actually guys do appeal it because... You're essentially telling Redbubble, hey, I'm not doing anything wrong here, so that when you upload stuff in the future, you don't get your account risked to get it taken down or get it banned or get it stopped, right? Because you don't want to stack on those bans and those losses for your account. Uh, that will be bad in the long term. But you could see here, there are countless, countless images. And you could just search for one keyword and you can make money off of it. So, like an image like this, I know that there are doctor's offices, there are dentist offices, there are places where an image like this can be used in their office, on a canvas, on whatever. And guess what people do? They search for certain keywords that are related to this kind of stuff on Google. They find the images of the products and they find them. So, let's go ahead and get back into it. Here's the phone cases, the jigsaw puzzles and the cool thing is guys is since you're uploading products like this that are very very high quality graphics they're very special what you could do is you could go over here and you could go over the settings and you could play with the pricing so for me for a jigsaw puzzle like this i could do a basic google search right and i could type in wolf jigsaw puzzle and what i want to do is i want to price my product more than anybody else has priced theirs the reason why is because it's pretty cool. Like, let's be honest. It's a real-life image. It's not one of these images, which is also pretty cool. But mine is a real-life image. It's a custom one-of-one. One. You can't get it anywhere else. So I'm looking at here the the uh, selling, you know, uh, the Google Shopping here. And I'm not seeing anything on our level. Like, yes, I see some cool stuff, but nothing really on our level. If I see something exotic, maybe that would be interesting. But the way I'm looking at it is I want to charge somewhere around you know, for at minimum, a little bit more. So at little at minimum $30. So I might charge 30% for mine, right? So a markup of 30%. And that will increase the price. I can actually do 34% because I want to boost that up that small number to 29. Maybe I'll go a little bit higher. Let's go to 39%. And there we go 29. Uh, let's go 39 and a half actually because I want this to say 29.99 or as close to it as possible to be honest with you so 40% maybe even let's go ahead and go with 40% and let's see what comes up okay 41% and that actually hits the mark. So 40% is good enough for me. That's $29.89, which is going to be the minimum price. But guess what? My product will stand out if somebody's searching for jigsaw puzzles because the price is going to be much higher. The image is going to be much higher quality, at least than most of the competition. And the cool thing is, is that this is a one of one. How many other designs out there that look exactly like this? The answer is not too many. So this is just a cool way that I like to do a little side income, and if I'm bored and I don't feel like doing creating any designs, this is an easy alternative. Now, I end up do invariably do creating designs for the day for my 60 designs a day, because what I like to do is I like to take those designs and put them on other platforms. However, this is a real good easy proxy to that, to get your work done faster and to get things done with creativity. I mean, look at this crocodile here. How many people realistically have this design on a picture frame, a puzzle, something like that? Well, the graphic is high quality enough to definitely make sales. Or what about this one with the swans, right? In in the river, in the water. This is high quality enough to get sales. Or what about this with the cows? Definitely high quality enough to get sales. But the question is, is how many people do this? The answer is not too many. So, even though this is being done on Redbubble, it's not being done at scale. And whenever something is not being done at scale, we have a better chance to succeed and make more money with it. And the reason why I'm even showing this is because I've had many times where I've made sales from photography like this. And honestly, at first, I never thought I would, but 
it worked. And I'm making money from it. And the cool thing, like I said, is that you don't need to rely on one or two products getting money for you or or getting sales for you because you have an unlimited license. So you're going to be able to utilize this as opposed to paying a monthly fee where you're limited. You have a a one-time payment plan or not not plan sorry a one-time payment and you get access to it forever for a lifetime so it really doesn't get better than that and um for me this is the way that i'm doing it i'm just sharing kind of my thoughts on this and uh, once again if you guys want to get access to this website you could search it on google but the google uh, link will not provide you with the discount Uh, i'll provide you with the discount plan in the link in the description box down below all right the discount will be a 59 dollar one-time payment and uh, you get access to it forever, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, peace out. Bye.